All right, guys. So I had somebody complaining about the process of uploading to the render network. He's like, oh, I'm not going to do all that just to make a render. I'm like, OK, this is how long it takes to set up a file for the render network. I'm going to hit the stopwatch start. I'm going to go ahead and stop my file here. I'm going to go to file, export out an RBX file. I do have some geometry node stuff going on. It's a geometry node add on. So it's going to export out my camera with all of that stuff baked into the Orbix file. All right. 200. 50 frames as finished now i'm gonna go to the render network all right so i'm gonna jump over to scenes i'm going to upload my file here and again like i said i will pause it for the uploading process i'm gonna go ahead and hit load and i'll pause it all right i will say i do have fast internet speed but that file was only 47 megabytes so that it is uploaded complete create a new job from here i'm gonna select everything i want 500 samples that's cool 1080 by 1920 that is okay for this case i'm gonna do all frames here all of that denoising beauty yes i want that enable rtx i want that hit okay set my export i want exrs at dwa 16-bit linear exrs i want it to be a multi-layer file means i don't want to have two separate files for denoising and for noising once that is set i'm going to go ahead and hit okay i'm going to select my render economy because i'm not going to do it at the fastest speed because i don't need to clog up the network with such a small render now i'm going to pause it for a moment here what i needed to do was for this next one here i needed to tell network how long was it taking to render my file so i will jump back over to blender and i'm going to render one file at 500 samples i'm going to go ahead and render that just so i can find out how long is it going to take to render 500 samples because this is going to allow us to estimate our credits on how much credits we're going to use on my 4080 supra it's taking 34 seconds to render one frame i'll jump back over to the render network to render 250 frames frames is going to cost me 2.92 render credits and then i'm going to go ahead and hit create job from there it's going to go ahead and start rendering out our frames it literally probably took me four minutes less than five minutes to set this up typically on your first render you want to only do 10 frames just for a test after that you can just go ahead and it says duplicate job you can hit duplicate job and then just basically change your from 10 frames to your full amount of frames and that should be it less than five minutes to have access to almost unlimited GPUs to render out a whole bunch of frames. 29 minutes later, we basically have my render works out good. 29 minutes to render 250 frames at 500 samples. I'm all for it.